TV Recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a 2020 action drama anthology series called Amazing Stories. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The first episode of the series is called The Cellar and follows the story of Sam. While restoring an old farmhouse, a strange storm transports him a hundred years into the past. The episode opens with Sam and Jake driving towards an old farmhouse. When they arrive, the brothers immediately start checking out a house. They look around and think of ways to restore it for their client. When they check out the cellar later, Jake says it's like a time capsule. While Jake talks, Sam is busy looking for a match on his dating app. He mindlessly talks with his brother and agrees to whatever he's saying. While Jake checks out an old barometer, Sam continues to get distracted by his dating app. Later that night, he meets up with a woman he matched with named Francesca. While late for their date, the charismatic Sam turns things around in his favor. He makes an excuse about his brother causing him to come late. He then shows Francesca Jake's family photo and she seems to like it. She then asks if Sam is a good uncle, to which he answers that he's the best. The next day, Jake pokes fun at Sam for being late and wearing his shirt backward. Jake then asks Sam about changing the name of their business. Sam doesn't seem interested because he prefers keeping things the way they are. The brothers spend the rest of the day working on the house. Later that night, Sam finds an old box and inside is a set of matches with a note that says cabbage. There is also a photo of a woman wearing a wedding dress. While the two brothers examine the box, sirens go off and they rush to prepare for the coming storm. During their preparations, the electricity suddenly goes out. Sam decides to deal with the problem and goes to the cellar. He fixes the breakers and when he turns the electricity back on, the barometer starts screeching. Sam falls to the ground and covers his ears because of the high-pitched sound. When he goes back upstairs, Sam discovers that the house looks completely different. Confused, he starts exploring and finds a woman singing while playing the piano. The woman sees Sam and starts to panic. She starts asking him who he is and eventually assumes he's a banker trying to collect a debt. Sam also panics and tries to explain himself but fails to convince her. Realizing that the conversation is going nowhere, Sam rushes upstairs to look for Jake, but he's not there. Suddenly, the woman appears with a shotgun pointed at him. She tells Sam to leave the house before her mother arrives and starts counting. Scared of getting shot, Sam quickly exits through the back door. When the woman's mother arrives, she gives her a gift box containing a dress. We also learn that the woman's name is Evelyn. Her mother tells her that the gift is from a man named William. Meanwhile, Sam explores the Old West looking neighborhood. Confused, he continues to walk until he notices a nearby poster. When he reads it, he learns that the year is 1919 and that he's traveled back to the past. Back at the house, Evelyn listens and sings along to music in the cellar. Her mother then arrives and scolds her for it. It seems her mother is strict and demands that Evelyn behave in a ladylike manner. She then orders Evelyn to give her the music records, but she is hesitant to do it. She then insists that Evelyn marries William because he's a good man and likely to become a good father. However, Evelyn knows the reason for the arranged marriage is money. After calling out Evelyn's perverse taste in music, Evelyn's mother asks for her music records again. After Evelyn surrenders the music records, Sam arrives and says they belong to him. To to avoid further suspicion from her mother, Evelyn comes up with a cover story about Sam being a doctor. Realizing what she's up to, Sam goes with the flow and manages to avoid raising any more suspicions. When the mother leaves, Sam gives Evelyn her records back and she thanks him. Sam then tells Evelyn that he's from the future, but she doesn't believe him. In an attempt to convince her, Sam shows Evelyn the photo of her in a wedding dress. Noticing Evelyn is still skeptical, he doesn't force her anymore but instead asks for her help. Sam tells her that he only wants to go home, but doesn't know how to do it. After asking for information from Evelyn, he decides to speak with the person that built the house and that's her grandfather. At the engagement party, Evelyn introduces Sam to her grandfather, Warren. Sam wastes no time and asks about the cellar. Warren looks at Sam as if he's crazy, but his friend obliges the inquiries. Their conversation abruptly ends when William gets the attention of all the guests and introduces Evelyn. While William and Evelyn dance, he tells her that he hired a photographer. Evelyn pretends to listen to what he's saying, but clearly, she's surprised. She seems to realize that Sam might be telling the truth after all. Meanwhile, a young girl approaches Sam and asks him to dance. He declines at first but eventually agrees to the young girl's request. The young girl turns out to be one of William's daughters. After the dance, William thanks Sam for entertaining his daughter. After her conversation with William, Evelyn begins believing in Sam's story. She asks him to go for a walk and he agrees. While walking, a curious and excited Evelyn starts asking Sam about the future. He tells her about it and she's amazed by what she hears. Moments later, they end up in front of a salon. Sam recognizes the place because of the matches he found earlier. Evelyn then says that there is a secret speakeasy inside. She believes it's a place where people have fun until dawn. Unfortunately, only those with the password can enter the secret gathering place. After hearing that Evelyn wants to see the secret speakeasy with her own eyes, they head inside. Sam is already aware that the password is cabbage because it was on the matches. He approaches the barkeeper and says the word. The barkeeper then leads the two in front of a door, and when he opens it, Evelyn happily enters. Inside, the two head to the bar and order drinks. 
Sam tries paying with his money, but the barkeeper doesn't accept it. Evelyn snatches Sam's money and pays with her coins instead. After taking a few sips, the two share a dance. Shortly after that, Sam tells Evelyn to take the stage and sing. Evelyn is hesitant and thinks it's a crazy idea. She eventually agrees due to Sam's charismatic nature. Evelyn goes on stage and after a brief moment of silence, begins to sing. As the song continues, she starts to sing her heart out and begins to enjoy every moment of it. When they leave the speakeasy later, Sam tells Evelyn that she should sing for a living. Evelyn tells him that she was nervous throughout that time. She also adds that she was looking at him while she was on stage the whole time. It seems the two are starting to get closer to each other, and it's clear that Sam has feelings for her now. Unfortunately, their moment quickly ends when Evelyn's mother appears and separates the two. She then reprimands Evelyn for going inside the speakeasy and her behavior that night. She also reminds her to act like a lady that's engaged. Sam tries to intervene, but Evelyn's mother tells him it's none of his business. The next day, Sam meets up with Henry, the friend of Evelyn's grandfather. He asks about the low pressure in the basement and how or when it'll happen again. He then leads him to a nearby barn and shows him a barometer. Warren tells him that it can happen during a rare storm that appears irregularly. Realizing the barometer is the one he found in the future, Sam asks for it. Henry tells Sam that he isn't in the habit of giving things for free. Hearing that statement, Sam offers to fix his barn doors in exchange for the item. Shortly after that, Sam goes to Evelyn's house and sees Evelyn packing her bags. It seems she's upset with her life and wants to run away. Sam then tells Evelyn that he has found a way to return to 2019 and implies they go back together. Sam says that Evelyn doesn't deserve to be unhappy, and she doesn't belong in this time. He believes that it's Evelyn's destiny to return with him to the future. Hearing this, a happy Evelyn kisses Sam. She then tells him that her wedding is in 19 days. While the days to Evelyn's wedding start counting down, Sam continues to work on Henry's barn. Meanwhile, Evelyn deals with the preparations for her wedding. Throughout that time, they also continue to let their romance flourish. Time passes, and the day when Evelyn takes her wedding photo arrives. During the photo shoot, William comments that he wants to remember Evelyn as a young, beautiful, and strong woman. Evelyn tries her best to be indifferent and continue having her photo taken. Suddenly, a storm arrives, and Evelyn abandons the photo shoot to run off with Sam. Unfortunately, William and his men arrive at the cellar. It turns out he has known about Evelyn and Sam's relationship all this time. They beat Sam up and take Evelyn away from the cellar. Then, the barometer starts screeching again, and the battered Sam returns to 2019. Agitated, Sam runs upstairs to look for Evelyn, but only finds Jake. Sam explains everything that happened to him, but Jake doesn't believe any of it. He thinks that Sam may have hit his head and is imagining things. When Jake goes home, Sam stays behind and tries figuring out how to return to the past. That night, Sam starts reading historical records and finds a newspaper report from the past. He sees Evelyn's name under the dead or missing section of the newspaper. Heartbroken, Sam immediately breaks into tears. The next day, Sam learns that the irregular storm will happen 10 to 15 years in the future. He gets frustrated and doesn't believe it will take that long. As time passes by, Sam continues to wait for his storm. For some reason, the storm arrives sooner than expected. When the sirens go off, Sam immediately heads to the basement. The barometer starts screeching, and he gets transported to another time. Strangely enough, Sam finds himself in a more modern version of the house. On his way upstairs, he finds a poster of Evelyn singing. After seeing the date on the poster, Sam realizes that he landed in the future this time. Shortly after that, he sees Evelyn putting a young boy named Sam to sleep. After having a glimpse of what the future holds, he goes back down the basement and returns to his time. Then, Sam notices that Jay Jake has changed the basement's layout. Believing that he has a family with Evelyn in the future, he asks Jake to help him return the cellar in its original form. His brother agrees, but only if Sam agrees to see a doctor later. When they finish working later, Sam breaks his promise and locks himself in the house. He goes down the basement and back into the past. He then meets up with Evelyn and brings her to the cellar. When they arrive, the couple discovers the room flooded. While trying to figure out what to do next, a beam falls on Sam and traps him. Realizing his time is running out, Sam accepts his fate and tells Evelyn to go on without him. Of course, Evelyn doesn't want to leave him behind, so he tells her about the future he saw. Sam assures Evelyn that Jake will help her and asks her to say he loves him. Evelyn gets swept away by the strong water current and wakes up in 2019. She meets Jake, making him realize that Sam was telling the truth all along. He then brings her food and a change of clothes. Jake sits down and tells Evelyn that Sam loved her, especially her singing. He adds that he has never seen his brother that way before. They then talk about Evelyn's record collection and how she hid it behind the cellar's walls. Jake then says that the cellar walls have always been the original ones. Shortly after after that, they open Evelyn's hidden stash and find two letters inside from Sam. One is for Evelyn, and the other is for Jake. Evelyn reads her letter and learns that Sam didn't drown in the flooded basement. It turns out that Henry came down and saved him. After that, he continued to wait for the next storm, but it never came. Eventually, Sam says he believes it's his destiny to live in the past, just like Evelyn is for the future. Sam adds that he finally found a life worth living there, and he's happy with it. He also says that he came from a place with too many choices, and Evelyn, from one that had none. Eventually, Sam says it's time for the two of them 
to move forward with their lives. While saying that, he also looks at Evelyn's photo one last time before putting it back in the box with the matches. He then takes the box and hides it in the same place where he found it earlier. Meanwhile, Jake opens his letter and finds a souvenir from Sam. In the letter, Sam only says one thing to his brother, and that it's time for him to build his own house. A sad Jake then closes the letter and looks at the distance while surely thinking about his brother. We then learn that Sam always believed that Evelyn would find his letters. That's because he knows she'll be looking for him in the future. Sam then tells her to stop looking because it's time for her to move on. He ends the letter by saying that her new life is waiting, and she has to go out there and take it. Shortly after that, Evelyn goes outside dressed in modern clothing. While she still carries Sam's letter, she looks at the surrounding area with a smile on her face. We then see Sam in the past loading carpentry tools on his truck. It turns out that he started his own construction company. He drives towards the distance, and the episode ends with a storm forming in the sky. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.